Well, hello everybody. I hope you're all doing well and keeping well and I hope you're all ready for today's video, which is a new in haul. However, it's not going to be loads and loads of pieces that I recently purchased. It's just a few pieces that I've recently purchased and I'm going to show you all of them, which are on the rail behind me just here. I'm going to show you all of them styled up with pieces that I already own. So basically it's going to be a haul where I'm going to show you, I think at least five, possibly six outfits, which are going to be made up of a mixture of new pieces and old pieces. I think sometimes this is a better way of doing hauls because if you watch my videos already, maybe you've purchased some of the pieces from my wardrobe and therefore when when I show you new clothes you might already own the clothing that I'm styling up with and then you think oh I can do that so instead of buying hundreds of new things you may only need one of the items to create a whole new outfit hopefully that made a little bit of sense I felt like I was kind of like talking in riddles there but I just really want to start doing this more often I think it's a much more sustainable way of doing hauls and it's also the way that I love to shop because I don't want to keep buying loads of new stuff all the time I've got enough stuff in my wardrobe and I really want to kind of mix and match with new and old now whenever I'm styling outfits something that finishes off every single look for me is my jewellery and if you've watched my videos before you will know one of my absolute favourite jewellery brands is Missouri. I wear their pieces on an everyday basis and have done for absolutely years from my earring stack which looks like this is actually slightly different to how it usually is because I've popped in these little gold hoops but I always wear this diamond earring stack which is all from Missouri. So are my rings, my necklace, my bracelets, I wear so many of their pieces and if you watch my last vlog you'll know how many of their rings I own because I showed you a clip in my walk-in wardrobe tour of my jewellery tray and it's basically made up of 90% Missouri jewellery. Now the reason I'm telling you about them is because the Missouri Cyber Sale has started guys and you can get 20%, you heard me, 20% off of so many of their pieces on their website. So I'm gonna show you the jewelry that I wear from them. So in my first holes, I'm wearing the dome hoops. And then if we zoom in a little bit closer, you will see in my other piercings, I'm wearing diamond studs, which if I'm honest, I never take out. Then my necklace is the boxy chain necklace. And this actually comes in two different lengths, which makes it so nice for layering the two together. The pendant you'll see me wearing throughout this video is an evil eye, but Missouri sell all different pendants. So you can switch them up as you can see me doing here. I also have a new ring to add to my ever-growing Missouri ring collection, which is this cute heart with diamonds running through the center. Most of my pieces from Missouri are solid gold, however, they also do gold for May. Their pieces are great for yourself, but also make the most perfect gift too. As always, all of the pieces will be linked down below, so you can easily go and shop them all there. I also have a little link there to all of my favorites that I wear from Missouri. I honestly adore Missouri jewelry. I really feel like I am one of their absolute biggest fans. And if you ever need an excuse to shop with them or treat yourself, I feel like this week is the week to do it. The fact you can save yourself 20% is huge. And I promise you, you will wear their pieces all of the time. Now we're going into the styling part of the video. I'll of course be leaving all of my jewelry on and showing you how it completes every outfit. So outfit number one, let's start off with these two pieces that I picked up from Arquette. And I actually wore them already the other day. So the first item is this cropped, I want to say trench coat because it's like a trench style of coat, but it's got this kind of like checked pattern all over it. Some of you might remember, I will um, show it in a cutaway if you don't remember, that I actually picked up at the beginning of the season, so like back in September, a crop trench coat which was just plain from Arquette and I've worn it so much since. It looks so great with a white shirt, I'm sure you're seeing me, a pair of blue denim jeans, loafers and then the trench over the top, it looks great and I really love that style of coat, I think it's really flattering, so easy to wear. So when I saw they did the checked version, you best believe, I ran and got it. You could of course wear this checked coat with the white shirt, blue denim jeans, exactly how you would the plain trench. I think that looks great. However, this jumper looks so nice underneath it. And as we're going into like colder months and we need to start thinking about layering up, I think this cashmere jumper underneath looks so beautiful. I actually wore this the other day paired with a pair of jeans. I think they're from New Look. You'll be seeing me here. I also picked up a pair of flat real leather boots. They're from June but they're actually from Secret Sales. So they were a steal. And I love how they look over the top of like my black skinny jeans. I then finished the look off with my YSL brooch, my YSL bag, and I love it. It's so comfy as well. It keeps you so warm. As I say, I went and met my dad the other day and I wore it out with him. 
And you know like when you wear an outfit and you just feel really good in it? This was the outfit for me that I felt that way. Then for jewellery, just keep it really minimal. I would just wear these little gold hoops that I just showed you from Missouri. And that's all you really need. And of course, the benefit to these two items is they can be styled up multiple different ways. You can wear the jumper with a pair of leather trousers, chunky boots, handbag and done. And this could be worn with a dress. It could be worn with tights, a skirt pair of loafers. I feel like your outfit possibilities are endless. The next thing I picked up from Arquette is possibly my favourite thing from the entire haul. This is the reason I went shopping in the first place because I follow a lady on Instagram. I think her, um, her Instagram name is Fashion Bug Blog. I might be saying that wrong. Her name's Laura. She's so cool. She lives in London. She has the most gorgeous little girls. And she also has a little boy as well. So if any of you follow her, you know who I'm talking about. And if you don't, you will not know what I'm going on about. But she wore this on her story. And I just had to have it. She styled it with a pair of leggings, chunky boots, some big black shades. And then she had, you know, the big sort of like YSL tote bag. But she was my inspiration behind this. And you know what? I'm going to style it exactly the same way. Pair of leggings, so it's super, super comfy. Chunky boots, then a black and gold handbag over the top. This jacket is insane what i love about it is it's got one of those zips where you can kind of like zip it up and zip it down at the same time so you don't have to be completely zipped up on it it's got a really giant hood the only thing i don't love about this jacket is the fact i wish the inside of the hood was the same material as the rest of it i just feel like it looks a little bit cheap this material and trust me guys the coat was not very cheap but other than that i absolutely love it I'm wearing this in a size 12 and I feel like it's something I'm going to wear so much going through winter. It's so easy to pop on over the most basic of outfits when you'll literally see me in a pair of leggings and a roll neck. So basic, but I think it looks really cool. But it will keep you so toasty and warm. I think it's such a vibe. Like, I absolutely love it. It's got such a good feel to it as well. Like, you honestly feel like a teddy bear. It's so cool. The next coat I picked up was actually from Zara. I know a lot of you will be thinking... Freya, really more beige clothes. And if you've watched my videos before, you already know the reason I wear so much beige. I feel like this triggers a lot of people because you're like, why don't you wear any colour? But I've said it before, the reason I don't, it means you can mix and match everything you own. And I just don't really love wearing colour, unless it's summer. I'll wear a little bit of pink and blue here and there, but in the winter time, beiges are where I'm at. So this coat is gorgeous quality. Once again, I wore it the other day. I'm gonna style it up exactly the same as I wore it. So I wore cream trousers, a pair of suede shoes, I then wore a cream, either like roll neck or just regular knitted jumper underneath. A big chunky cream scarf. You can even go wild and wear a cream hat with it as well. But an all cream look in autumn winter for me is a dream. I wear it over and over and over again. Finished off with my Chanel bag. All of the gold accents of my jewellery, I just absolutely love it. It's just so effortless. This coat was actually from Zara's more like premium section. So it was a little bit more on the pricier side. But I feel like you can really tell with the quality of it. It's really, really well made. I also love the buttons. They almost look like they're shell. I don't think they are. I think they're just plastic. But they've almost got like a really pale, like tortoise shell look to them. I also feel like this is the perfect colour between beige and cream. Like it's somewhere in between. And for that reason, it just goes with so much stuff. Another way I would wear this is with blue denim jeans. The same sort of like cream roll neck, chunky scarf, exactly the same shoes, but switch out the trousers for blue jeans. And I really love that contrast between beiges and creams and blue denim, no matter what time of year it is. Now these next pieces are very, very, very casual vibes. But I love a casual vibe because I always... I've already said this in this video. I think I usually say it 10 times in every video. I always love to be comfy. So I picked up this tracksuit from Zara. And the bottoms are actually different to the top. I didn't realise that. The bottoms are a different material. They're almost like a really soft fleece. And then this is like normal tracksuit material. I don't think they're meant to be a set, but they kind of go together, so we're just gonna go with it. I love a tracksuit, not just for a Sunday or around the house. I, I just love it any day of the week. A way that I would wear this is with my brown duster coat over the top. I wear that coat so much, it's actually ridiculous. My New Balance 550s, you know, like my trainers. You could wear any pair of trainers you want. Then just a handbag, and that's it. So comfy, I think it looks really cool. I also got the AirPod Max, you know, the big headphones, probably see them in a cutaway. Add those to your outfit and then you are really cool. <laughs> I'm joking, I actually like can't face wearing those in public. I can wear them like round my neck, but I get too scared to wear them in public. Anyway, I digress. A very cool, cozy, comfy, warm outfit that 
I wear all of the time. Next up is a jumper that I picked up from H&M, which I think is an amazing dupe of the Totem Mohair jumper. Some of you might know what I'm on about. But this looks exactly the same, however, it was a fraction of the price, like literally nowhere near the same price. I'm sure the quality maybe of this isn't as great as the Totem one, but seriously guys, it's a very, very, very good dupe. I think this is also my fourth or fifth mohair jumper of the season. I love them so much, despite how itchy they are. I really do love it. So this I picked up in a size medium, of course. It is beige. I did actually get a black one not so long ago. Some of you might remember that. This one is slightly different to the black one because it is a little bit more cropped. And then underneath it, I paired it with this white shirt. This is my second white shirt of the season from Market. Only reason I got another one is just because I wear the first one so much. I'm sure if you've watched my videos before, you know how much I love to style a jumper over the top of a shirt. I've done it countless amounts of times over the years in autumn winter i think it looks absolutely great as the weather gets a little bit cooler you can wear a shirt with a jumper and then a coat over the top i love layers i think it looks so cool then to finish this outfit i know very basic but i would just wear my coated faux leather trousers the ones that you're seeing me in are actually from new look I picked them up a few weeks back. They're a really good fit. They're really stretchy, super comfy. And I just love how they almost look like spray on to your legs, if that makes sense. I then paired them with a pair of heeled leather boots. I actually picked up from Massimo Duty when I went to Paris. I don't know if I showed you them on vlog yet. I'm unsure if I have. I feel like very ladylike when I'm wearing these boots, I have to say. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not a lady, but like on a daily basis, I tend to just wear flat shoes just because I like being comfortable. So if you're not into the heel, switch out the heel for a chunky flat boot and that is a great in my opinion autumn winter look I absolutely love it and that is why i wear this look over and over again now this is a very basic fleece that i picked up from h&m this is in a size small but it is quite an oversized fit i just got this for the days where like i was going to go to the gym i mean i'm saying like gym like that because it is rare that i actually go to the gym this time of year but I'm trying to force myself to go three times a week and I felt like this would be really great over the top of a gym outfit however I just want to say I'm quite disappointed like I was with the hood of the Arquette coat the fact that the inside of this jumper is like this and the outside looks so snuggly like you want the inside to be just as snuggly because that's what is against your skin do you know what I mean so I feel like slightly let down by that but I also really like how it looks on now, if you didn't want to wear this over gym gear, I did think it also looked really nice with a pair of blue denim jeans. And I have a pair of Converse, which are a really similar colour to this. So just blue jeans, a pair of Converse, a really chilled and casual everyday look. Also keeping you really warm as well. But that's the only thing. I felt like the inside is a slight disappointment, to be honest. It's not really the best, is it? But overall... I thought it was quite cute. I kind of love that all these fleeces are back in. Something about me is I always like to be warm. It's actually not very warm in my flat right now. I had to turn my heating off because it comes out of this vent. It makes kind of a lot of noise. So when I'm filming, I can't have it on. And then often when I'm filming, I start to get hot. I don't know why talking to you guys it makes me so hot. Anyway, the next thing I picked up was this. This is from H&M and this is a blazer coat and I'm really sad about it because I saw it on a girl on Instagram and I absolutely loved it. It's so cool. I love the material of it. It's almost like hairy, if that makes sense. Does that make any sense? Hairy, is that a really bad explanation of a material? But it kind of looks a bit hairy. Now I went on the website and it was sold out in every size except for large. But I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get the large one and see how it looks. Now guys, it's just way too big and I'm so sad about it because it is such a lovely jacket. What I would say is go on the website and do like the notify you can put in your email if you like it, you'll be able to get hold of it. This once again, I thought would look really cool with a pair of tights, loafers and then like a little black dress underneath it. You could even belt it, I mean I don't think I can belt this one, let's see if I got away with belting it in the cutaway, but you could belt it I thought would look kind of nice but unfortunately I just think this is just too big I wanted it to be like an oversized blazer coat and instead of that it's more like a coat and also the shoulders are like too dropped on me as well but it's really beautiful quality and if you can get hold of it I would definitely definitely say size down because there are times I wear like a large coat and it does fit and it looks cool but this 
it's just too big and I often do find that with H&M sizing I often find that their sizing is quite big so those were my new in outfits from this past week I hope so much you guys have enjoyed this video it's given you a little bit of outfit inspo maybe you've seen some pieces that you'd like to pick up whether it's clothing or jewellery I just hope so much you've enjoyed it as always everything featured will be linked down below so you can shop everything from there if you don't already I'd love it so much if you subscribe to my channel go follow me on Instagram and on TikTok and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Take care of yourselves guys. Bye bye!